Hi, my name is Xander Stromer, and today I will be teaching you how to do hands-on equations. Our first problem is negative 15 plus x equals the opposite of 3x plus 5. First, I need to tell you what, well, these objects are before you can understand how we do the problem. First, we have a white pawn, which is the opposite of x. A blue pawn, which is x. A red cube, which is, which is a positive, And a green cube, which is a negative. So here's our problem, all set up. First, we're gonna add three blue pawns to each side. And by doing so, then we have the option to make a pair of zero, or multiple pairs of zero. And we take them away. So now we have the problem, negative 15 plus 4x equals five, 5. Next, what we're going to do is add 15 to each side. So then these cancel out each other. And we'll just switch that. Which one of these is a 10? There we go. There. So then we have 4x equals 20. Okay, so I each of these by 4. So you have 1 on this side, and you get 5 on this side. So 1x equals 5. So my next, for, for my next problem, I will be teaching you the problem the opposite of 3x plus 5 plus x equals the opposite, or 2x, excuse me, plus negative 3. So, here's our problem down here. We got it all set up. Got all the right pieces. So first, what we're going to do is we have a pair of zero. Because two of the same, or two different things that are the same, but the opposite, pretty much cancel out each other. So we have to take those away. Next, we have the three and the five. We want to get rid of this five. So what we're going to do is add a negative five to both sides. These two cancel out each other, and these two become an eight, or a negative eight, excuse me. <clears throat> so next we have the opposite of two x equals two x plus negative eight. Now what we want to do is we're gonna add two white pawns to each side. So we got these two and these two. Now we take away our pairs of zero. One pair of zero, two pairs of zero. So our final answer is, well not our final answer, but our answer, answer for now is four x equals eight, or negative eight. So what would, we have, what would we have to do? Well, we'd have to divide each of the divide eight by four, which would give us negative two. So the opposite of x equals negative two, which means x equals positive two. Thank you for watching.